Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here today with a quick book review. This is Daphne and Velma the Vanishing Girl by Josephine Ruby. This is an original uh, novel in the Scooby-Doo universe and it focuses on, you guessed it, Daphne and Velma. Um, this is a kind of upper middle grade YA novel, although I did listen to the audiobook of this with Elena, who is seven and a half, because, you know, we love some Scooby-Doo, and there is like maybe one word, I think someone said shit at some point, there may have been someone that said damn, but it wasn't anything that was a huge cuss-worthy moment, um, there was nothing that, uh, made me think, oh no, Elena can't read this with me. Uh, it went through very well, and it brought the girls and their friends into the real world. First of all, look at that cover. Is that not amazing? I love it. The reason I grabbed it initially was I saw the image and thought, oh, that looks like the Scooby gang, and I kept looking, and it's, you know, Daphne and Velma, and it really is. But like I said, it is a real-world version, so like Scooby is there, but he doesn't talk. Uh, we got to see Shaggy and a little bit of Fred, but... It focused on Daphne and Velma, as you could probably tell. And this is a new series, so we're going to have Daphne and Velma as the main characters for hopefully several books. I know that there is another one slated to come out, although I'm not sure if it's at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. Um, this one was published in January of 2020, I think. So, yeah, it's pretty new, and I had not seen anyone else talk about it, and then I found it... Uh, while doing a book order through Scholastic. So score one for being a teacher, right? Uh, let me give you a quick summary. I'm going to read you the first paragraph off the back and then give you a quick summary and leave you to it. Uh, the back says, Popular Daphne Blanket, Uber Nerd, Velma Dinkley used to be friends, but not anymore. The two girls grew up together, best friends since pre-K, but when they hit middle school, Daphne dropped Velma and never looked back. These days, Daphne's deep in the popular crowd, while Velma's an outsider, hiding from the world behind her thick glasses. When they run into each other in the halls of Crystal Cove High, they look the other way. But then, Daphne's new best friend, Marcy, goes missing. A century ago, there was a wave of disappearances in Crystal Cove, and many locals think that supernatural forces were behind it. Now, the whole town believes those same forces are back, and up to no good. Daphne and Velma may be the only ones who can solve the mystery and save Marcy, if they can trust each other enough to try, especially since the truth may be stranger and scarier than either girl can imagine. So there are some thrills in this book, and uh, the audiobook has three narrators. We have one for Daphne and one for Velma because it switches perspective back and forth. And then we also have another unknown narrator who is just kind of filling some things in and it's really well done. Uh, but it's not like super scary. Like I said, Elena listened to it with me and there were only maybe one or two places where she kind of went, huh? Uh, the rest of it was just the right amount of scary to make this a slightly thrilling mystery as opposed to a slightly mysterious thriller. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it was good. Well written. I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I would give the audiobook like 4.9 out of five. Uh, just really well done. The writing is pretty good and I have a feeling that it's only going to get better. And I'm really looking forward to the next book. I'm not sure when it's going to come out. I couldn't find that information in the like three seconds I tried to look for it. Um, I have a lot going on right now. <clears throat> with my dad in the hospital and mom's over there with him and my grandparents are up from Texas and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, you know, my brain's no work -um. But we did really enjoy this and it was a good book to keep our mind off things while driving back and forth to the hospital. So that worked. And it's a good thing that I am done with the summary because that was the bell and my eighth graders are going to come in in just a minute. So I'm going to leave you guys there. I do encourage you to pick up Daphne and Velma, The Vanishing Girl by Josephine Ruby. It is well worth the read or the listen. Have a great day. Bye.